So Brenite sent me their headlamp, their HCO1 headlamp, and they wanted me to unbox it, feature it, and just kind of show what it was all about. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. They did send this to me for free, but rest assured they have no input on my content, so these opinions are my own. This is the HCO1. It is the Noctura headlamp. It's supposed to be a three lighting source headlamp. We're going to unbox it really quick and see what we've got. Let's get a little pocket knife out. All right. Dropping out of the box, it seems to be well packed. Looks like it comes in a nice little configuration here. A little bit larger than I thought it would be, actually. You've got the headlamp, a little uh, USB cable that's hidden in, in the clamshell, a manual, let's just dump all the packaging out, a manual, a product catalog, and a value add card. So USB-C cable, and the, the light's actually decently substantial. It's got a pretty good, um, it's like a heft to it. The The bracket is made out of plastic. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not, but it's got a USB charger here on the bottom. USB-C. Let's go ahead and just peel off this stuff because who needs that stuff, huh? Okay, so the light does come in lockout mode. In order to get out of lockout mode, you have to hold both buttons down and it'll come out of lockout mode like that. It'll flash a couple times and then you can start using the light. On the side, there's a power indicator mode right here. It shows the battery life that you have left. Four bars means you're 100% full. To cycle through the modes, you simply turn the light on and then you hold down and it cycles through the different modes. To get to turbo mode, you can double click the light and it goes to super bright mode. That's supposed to be about a thousand lumens. It is actually relatively bright. This thing is uh, fairly bright. So the auxiliary lights are powered by the second button. You can turn on and off the light with a single press, hold down to cycle through the different light modes, and double tap to go from white to red. Also hold down, you can go between light and bright red. So if you end up in a situation where you need a blinking red light, maybe you're in trouble or something like that, you can triple click the auxiliary light switch and you'll get a blinking red in order to signal other people. One of the other cool features of this thing is it's actually got a winder on the bottom of it. So you can, when you bring your your uh, headlamp out, you put it on. I put it over my hat because I always rock a hat. When you put it on, you can wind it tight and it locks in tight. Then you just simply you want to use red, you want to use normal, you got a headlamp. There's a decent bit of articulation here. You can go up and down. Um, this thing can actually go all the way around in a circle. Not that you would need to do that, but that's the kind of articulation that it does have. To access the battery door in the back, you can flip it 180 degrees, pop the battery latch right there, and you can actually access the battery in the pack in the back. That's kind of a nice feature, especially in the days of everything being rechargeable. This offers the opportunity or at least possibility to buy a replacement battery if you like the light and the battery goes out and you don't want to get a whole new light. When you're done with the light, you can simply turn this to roll it up. It stores nice and compact. Turns your light into a nice and easy to store, neat, not tore up headband and a pretty compact light system. You can use it with your palm, your hand or whatever. And when you want to open it up, you just simply pull it out. Stick it on your head and tighten it down to however far you want it. Not a bad little gig, man. So if you triple click the light, it'll give you strobe flashing light warning. And then if you triple click again, it goes slower to an SOS mode. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, you can use both lights at the same time and or independent of one another just by simply using the buttons that come with those lights. So you can use your auxiliary light and your main light. If you turn on the auxiliary light and you go to the white light and then you turn the other white light on, you've actually got two low, medium, high, double click for torch. And this thing is blindingly bright. I believe a thousand lumens. Overall, I got to say, this is a pretty good light. Seems like it's uh, something that would be good throwing in backpacks, something to throw, you know, in your bag if you wanted something for on the go, or even just something to have around your house or take camping or anything. There's absolutely a ton of uses for having a good headlight. It is a little bit heavy, um, but I think that I actually kind of like that because that tells me that there's actually a decent number of battery hours in, involved in this without having this thing die. So the modes on this thing go from 10 lumens all the way up to 1,000 lumens. You got 10 for low, 105 for medium, 450 for bright, and then when you go into turbo mode, it's 1,000 lumens. Runtime on turbo 
It's claimed to be 85 minutes, I can't verify that, but that's a long time to go at 1,000 lumens. So the light weighs about two and a half ounces, something that you can easily stick into a pack or something like that and not notice the difference. You're gonna do about 2,700 minutes out of the low mode. So if you're just needing a light for a camp trip or something like that, chances are very good it's gonna last the whole entire time without issue. Overall, I really like the way that this thing lines, like packs up nice and neat. This is a genius way of storing a strap. I have a couple different headlamps and they just go everywhere. And it's just like they get caught on things. I really like the fact that you can just roll this thing up. That's nice. And overall build quality seems to be pretty decent for it. To lock the light back out, you're just gonna hold both buttons for two seconds. It's gonna go back into lockout mode. It's gonna blink twice to let you know it's there. And then anytime you try and touch it, it's just gonna show green lights. That's gonna be your battery level. Four bars being 75% or more. So that's a look at the Brynite Noctura HC01. Pretty decent little light. If you liked the video, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. As always, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you have one of these? Are you gonna get one of these? Those kinds of things. I'd love to hear from you. I appreciate you watching. Till the next one.